this Conservative-led government have a problem with women? And it's not just David Cameron's boorish behaviour to us in the House of Commons. From job cuts, cuts to childcare, tax credits, unfair increases in state retirement ages, it's women who are bearing the brunt of this Conservative government's failing economic policy. I'm here in my constituency of Wallasey to talk to some of the women this government have let down. I don't feel that they understand the lives of ordinary people. I mean, the reality of my life now, uh, my job relies on people being in work um, because I child mind. Their jobs are being cut. I don't know where my next work's coming from. At the minute, I have far more money going out than I have coming in. For example, the dishwasher went this month and that's another 60 to 70 pound that I've got to find. And you know, it, it's not there. It's simply not there. So, Ada, is, has that been your experience as well? A millionaire can tell me, you know, that I can manage with my gas and electric. OK, I know everyone's going to suffer, and he says we're all in together, but there are some people who aren't in it, and he is one of them. And, uh, Lana, what's been your experience? Because I think you, you were on the Future Jobs Fund. Yeah, I was. I really, really... That was a positive thing in my life when, when young people are looking to get into work and they need those skills that employers are wanting. It was just a fantastic way yeah. of getting 18 to 24-year-olds into work. And now that the government have cut it, I just feel that young people, they're so uncertain about what the future holds, especially for employment, leaving university, what's there for them, what, what's the alternative? Wirral's Labour Council is protecting our Sure Start centres, but hundreds of them are under threat across the country, despite pre-election promises to protect them. Uh, I couldn't be a working mum without this Sure Start. I mean, Nathan has been, well, we've been coming since he was a week old. And he actually comes to nursery here. I work four days a week and it fits around our life. I, I couldn't get into work if he couldn't come to nursery here from, well, he actually comes in at eight o'clock in the morning. So the yeah. lifeline for you. Yeah, absolutely. And I just think it's such a shame that so many short starts are being lost. This government of millionaires is out of touch with real people's lives. They seem to have no idea what it's like to cope with soaring energy bills or the struggle to get the kids to school ready to learn. And until they start listening to people like these here in Wallasey, women won't calm down.